What is going on everybody? My name is Chant and welcome to my channel. And my channel consists of camping outdoors and just truck camping. On this video, I wanna go over my build um, on my truck and just give you guys a full tour setup of, of what I've got here. And so let's start. So this is my 2015 GMC. 2500 HD Denali and it's a Duramax there no, nothing I guess it's nothing fancy it's just a diesel truck um, this truck has 206,000 miles you guys on it and um, I've done a lot to this truck I've had it for five years um, it's got the new or it's got the 2021 GMC rims, the new ones here, stock rims, and then it's got the Falcon tires. This is a 20 inch rim, so it's running on 275, 65, 20 um, Falcon AT3 wheels. So, and it's a four door crew cab. Uh, so I'll open this up. And in here, guys, I keep, um, I keep my firewood right there with the tote for all my firewood and I got the seed up um, it stays up unless I've got my kids and stuff that will need to go in in here but other than that um, that's what I store and then I got my uh, my cold Antarctic gear gear my super bag so in here just in case I need it got my shovel Got another tote over there. I'll show you guys when we get around. This is the ARE CX series. You can see I bought this on Cra uh, not Craigslist, Facebook Market, uh, for a thousand bucks. And this window does crank open inside. So it's a six and a half foot box or a bed. And we'll move to the back here. Um, we'll get into the back here in a little bit. Um, so, you guys can see right here, that's the exterior. And we actually got the diesel heater exhaust that's right in the corner here. I'll show you when I get in. The diesel heater um, exhaust is ran out here this way. So the exhaust is pushing out. And we got the fresh air intake up here, over there, up further up in here, tucked in. So fresh air is in there. I'll show you that when we get inside the bed. And in here, like I said, this is all of my um, Tupperware, pans, silverware, you know, paper plates, cutting boards, and stuff all in here. That's, this is the tote that houses everything out of that. And then I got my diesel fuel container in here. Uh, it's a 1.25 gallon container I carry with. I normally don't need much more. Once I fill top up the the um, tank that's in the back and then I keep this one full. So I'd say if I'm going off for three or four days, that's plenty, plenty of fuel um, to run if I don't run the diesel heater all the time. So, so yeah, that's the outside here. Of my setup. Let's see, it's got a lot of uh, traveled miles, you guys. It's uh, highway miles, interstate mile mostly, because I've done a lot of traveling with this truck uh, for work and just uh, going everywhere. So let's get into the inside. All right, let's start out here for now. Um, right here, I've got my tote see um, I've got my tote for my pro my, uh, butane right here and some um, ziplock bags garbage bag tin foil you can see all that in there yeah. so that's what houses that in there so here's my spice spices and dry food um, Tupperware or a tub I'll show you guys what I got in here 
So sugar, um, some oatmeal, some rice in there, garlic. I can still smell that garlic <laughs> in the Ziploc bag. Um, yeah, just spice, coffee and stuff like that in there. So that's where I keep that. Okay. And this is just like for my cold food. Um, my so-called uh, bag, my cold food bag there. I bring along, I don't need to bring a cooler just because it's cold, you know, during the winter. Um, I don't need a cooler. I used, I used to bring a cooler. So, um, these totes are normally stacked um, back here, you guys, right back there. So, that's where those goes. And so, okay, so then I got a fire extinguisher here. This is a small one. I'm not sure what size this is. Just sits right here. You guys, I have that just in case, you know, we have some fire or something. I got it out here. And so here's the uh, shelving right here. Very simple. It's built up on top of the wheel well. So that way, like wheel well is just right up here. It's a couple inches up. And then I've got a, wood. I got a, piece, of wood, a piece of wood here. It acts as a shelving, as you guys can see. Very simple build. You know, and I can I can take this off if I need to, and so it's a nice to have a shelf, shelf up here, and then here's my Jackery Explorer 1000. That's what I use to power my diesel heater. Right there's my diesel heater, um, 12 volt. That's ran over there. So that's what's running right now. Um, that's what's powering the diesel heater. And so before I get there, here's my um, Jackery. Um, 240 the small one I use that normally just for my light source that way when I'm out there and stuff I can just hit the pop the 12 volt on and off to shut the lights off or whatever in here so yeah those do come in handy um, normally I probably could get away with just these lights running off of this one and just have one but um, since I have the 240, I thought it's just nice to have extra source of power and um, not just drain that one out, you know. So, yeah. I don't have any solar panels for these um, at the moment. I don't know if I will get it. Uh, right now, uh, I usually go out camp a day or two at a time, you know. I don't stay out too long. Um, it works great. I just once I'm done I just take it out and go charge it at home or if I go out for a long time I've got another wire here That's ran. There's another wire here Right here. This wire here This wire here is connected to my ba the battery source straight from the battery source and a 12 volt female connected into a 12 volt feet male with the jackery plug here and if I need to charge it I just push it and put it in here and as I'm driving when the truck is on there's power going to that and so it charges that's the only reason why I have that back here just in case I do go on long trips and I need to recharge and the truck will charge truck battery will charge it up so so yeah that's what I got going on for my power source and then I've got like a fire starter in here. You can see, just, uh, I like to keep them in here because I do do a lot of uh, burning of firewood, you know, campfire. And so I've got uh, that kind. You can get these at Walmart by the camping section. It's just a fire starter. So it's just like five bucks a box, so not bad. What else? And then, oh yeah, I got a little thermometer here, you know, nothing fancy. It tells me how hot or how warm it is in here. So, um, what else? Oh yeah, for my bed, I, for my bed, I just got the, this foldable trifold bed here. It's four inch thick foam memory foam. And it folds, you guys. Here, I'll show you. Like I don't, as you guys can see, it's one section's folded, not one section, but like a section that's folded up. So if I don't need to use it, I can fold it up 
and just store it away. And it's nice. So you see right here. Let's see. You can fold it. So I got this on Amazon. And I'll put a link down below in the description for that. And I'll put a link in the description for everything that's I, that I've mentioned in, in here. Okay. Let you guys know so where you, where you can find them. The bed is pretty comfortable. I've slept in it like um, half a dozen times. So it's very, it's very comfortable. Um, and then here, you guys, I built another. There's another. There's a wheel well here too as well. But I just left the top off and just wanted this open and have a lower section of a shelving right here. So if I do like, um, if I do some cooking in here, I like to cook down lower, um, just that um, that way it's just easier to cook. I think when it's lower, and plus for filming, um, gets a better angle for me to um, vlog my cooking better instead of cooking up here. I've done I've done cooking up here. It's hard to see what I'm cooking as well because it's up so high. So yeah, that's it there. And then just for blankets and stuff, I got this is blanket I've had a few years here. My wife gave like gave this to me and let me use it. So I've got this blanket. And then I've got a sleeping bag here as well that's unzipped all the way. And I use this as my bedding. So um, so like this this side, it doesn't get if it gets a little moisture or whatever, it's not seeping up in here. That's why I have like the cotton side up. Alright, so We'll hop in here. I'll show you the diesel heater set up here. Well, it's nice and warm. All right. So here's my diesel heater here. I've mounted the controller right here. I had to extend this, so I had to cut the, the wire and um, extended it. And it's, yeah, as you guys can see right there, the wire's uh, extended so I can add the remote over here. And then this is the vent. So this is actually screwed down onto the bed. And there is two one inch holes underneath this, this, um, this unit that's for fresh air and exhaust. That's what I showed you guys outside was the exhaust and fresh air. I didn't show you because it's all the way underneath there. Um, to be honest, it doesn't smell you guys in here like diesel. You would think like it smell like like if you ever ran an equipment like skid loaders and stuff when you turn it on it just you can smell the diesel and stuff but here the I don't smell it to be honest with you like um, it doesn't smell like diesel in here because the exhaust when we turn it on it just goes right out and whatever it's in here it doesn't give up fumes you know the diesel fume so it works very well right here it's screwed down onto the bed as well and so yeah it works great it's like a hundred hundred some bucks 150 180 dollars for this diesel heater but i've been using it for this whole winter and it's been working great it's a good cheap way of heating your this bed cap that's that's why i like the diesel heater i know a lot of people are afraid of it because they're not familiar with it i used to be that way until i started using it and getting more familiar with them and so uh, for a hundred some bucks you guys that's it's cheap and here for the uh to cover these windows side windows when i go to bed is i got these reflective here bubble reflective you guys from menards or you can get them um home depot wherever i think they are 16 inch yeah from menards they're 16 inch um tall and then i think 24 feet um, in a roll so it's not bad and I got that all along the side here and then I've got velcro here as you guys can see this is just a velcro strip and it just acts as look at that it just sticks there and then if I need to take this out I just go like that and it comes right out as you guys can see right there you know it's, uh, it's very convenient see if I want to put it back right there boom sealed same thing on that side and like for this here I did the same thing there's velcro all I did was there's velcro, velcro set back here uh, squares I think yeah 
right here or just a strip so once I just stick the velcro on there and all I do is just sticks onto the oops, it sticks right onto the carpet you know same thing on that side and this one is actually for that the that window the back window so that's what I use and same thing I just got the uh, velcro square right here on one side and on the other side and then I just roll it out and then just velcro it to right on each side of the carpet and it just covers it the light I got these at Menards I'll put a link down below these are 17 bucks you guys and you get eight of these lights and all I got is velcro in the back of these to hold them same thing velcro squares and yeah see you guys can see and then all I did was ran it came with a trailer plug like for the end of it so I just cut it and then um, converted it into a 12 volt plug here there's a 12 volt plug and all it is, is just positive and negative and it plugs in there and so I, I bought this off of Amazon this plug here I'll put a link down below as well for that you guys so yeah and then plug in there and I just turn on my Jackery and all these lights LED lights turn on it works great and this came with the cap so um, yeah and I just rigged it so it's like same thing I just connected to these these same wires that ran out of here power them or connect them to all together and just ran it to the 12 volt so I mean this is this is the one that came with the cap like I said it's, it's, uh, some of it's out already but that's all right it works so yeah and then like in here right here you guys this opens if I need to if it gets warm in here I just open that and it takes care of being too warm in here during the winter I do get too warm in here during the winter um, you would think I'd want but I do so that's what I've got you guys in my setup here I just wanted to show you guys and hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tour of my place yeah yeah it's uh, a little bit of room right here where I can just put certain another place to store as you can see my bed here my bed I made it so that I fold it up so that I've got room here to take off the wet boots and not get the bed wet so overall you guys I enjoy this build um, it's been working for me and um, we'll see what um, through the years what it brings and I might keep the same setup I don't know right now I don't feel like I need to change anything yet and um, it works. So until next time you guys, we will see you on the next adventure. Later.